Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And with me I have got Mr. Steve Crump and the straggler that's just turned up out of nowhere, some dosser. Big issue, big issue. <laughs> How are you doing, Dennis? Good to see you, Russ. Looking well, good turnout here today. I think so, yeah. They were quite lively, weren't they? And some good boxing people here, that's what yeah, I like to see. Chris Aston, Tyrone yeah. Merce, Nick yeah. Whale. Yeah, yeah. Barry, timekeeper Barry Pinder, uh, Flynn Rhodes, Alan Olsen, yeah, some proper boxing. James Russell, some proper boxing people here, yeah, today. It was good. Yeah. Right then, uh, this is the, is it the fourth show you've done together now, this one? Fourth or fifth, I think it's. Fourth or fifth, I think. Yeah. You're last in Steve, aren't you? <laughs> still here, still, still doing my apprenticeship. Still doing my apprenticeship. So you've not. He's got a bug. <laughs> no legal letters getting fired off just yet, then, Steve. No, no, we don't know that. Don't we don't know that, will we, No, it's others. We'll have a pop at us, innit? It is. Yeah, I know. People having a pop at you, Rob. Unbelievable, innit? Right, so this is your fifth show, and to be honest with you, you've delivered for free spots so far, aren't you, Dennis? They've, uh, you've had, is it, how many is it? Five, isn't it? I'll give you one. About five, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've all, you've had a, a few nine out of tens, and you've had a, about a seven, weren't you, one of them? But other than that, they've all been good, haven't they? It's, not, it's all free as well. I, I think so. I think uh, for, for, for the level we're at, uh, what we've delivered has been great TV, and you, you, can't, you can't knock. What we've uh, what we've delivered for them, so you know, I mean, if if anybody looks at us, I'd, let me put it this way, us, and I'll, I'll put going like that here. Who who else out there at this level for television and what we've got to play with could deliver what we've been delivering? Not the matter though, because you're prepared to lose on show to invest in your fighters, aren't you? Mm -hmm. That's what, Whereas that's what we're doing. For, like Sky have just put plug on that show tonight, haven't they? Have they? Just to show you, yeah. the Coley. Phoenix Cash, uh, Scott's feet, not Scott Fitzgerald, Fowler against Rose, Brian Rose. Uh, uh, that were on tonight, wasn't it? Fifth, we pulled it. Well, so that last show we last did, week, that last show we did, we, 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 uh, we, we Tommy, when he won the Commonwealth title, we got we got seven fights coming into the last week. Yeah. We had four pull-outs in the last so many days before that. And Glyn Road said to me, said, Dennis, why don't you just cancel the show and let's go at a later date? I went, look, we've got a Commonwealth title available. How many chances Is that do you get? the one you did the conquers in on that one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but we, yeah. It, gives, it gives Tommy an opportunity to fight for a Commonwealth title. Tommy got his win and we moved forward. And we moved forward exactly. and more performance. So it was worth, it, it, it was justified taking that punt. Yes. Yeah. People say yeah, there were only three fights, but most people want to see the top of the bill anyway. But obviously, we, we wanted to put a, a, a bigger undercard, and we had got it booked. Yeah. I mean, we started with ten fights for that promotion, yeah. but the last the last week we got seven, and then we had four pullouts. How many, how many times was that happening in the last week? But it happened. But we kept the show going, and as in show business, the show must go on. Mm. Right. Talking about the actual show, there's been some problems with Tommy Frank's opponent on this week. Yeah. But same again, we, we, we were always good at you know, putting a plan B together. Yeah. Uh, the, plan B, didn't you? Yeah, but, the, but I, I, when I was promoting Ricky Arn and Clinton, we always used to, look, used to look to try and have a plan B. Now, Tommy's still a work in progress. He's the Commonwealth champion, but at Superfly, as you know, there's not that many Superflies, in, not just in Europe, in the world now, what's credible for Tommy, what's the right fights at the right time, and, and, and uh, it's difficult. So, We've got the kid on the back burner, John Chua, who, who is fine tomorrow night, um, but um, pronounce the kid's name or we should have fought for me. Jemsey, oh what's his name? Jemsey, anyway. Yeah, the, the, uh, so anyway, the visa problem. Yeah, yeah. We've got two, three, three agents on it and it just didn't get delivered the, yeah. for whatever reason. That's not, that's not down to us. The promotional company is down at the agents, or the kid 
had got some problem with his visa application. That's all I can say. Uh, put it down to we got some problems, some issues with the Home Office. They didn't want to allow that kid into our country. So otherwise, he'd have been fine for the Commonwealth tally. Now he's fine in a ten rounder against another uh, Tanzanian, uh, John Chur, who's a capable kid. He'll come and have a go. He'll come and he'll come and to try to win. But it's a, it's another. No, he's he? no, he's, he's got a better record than the kid who we're fighting. But um, he's. Uh, can I just jump in there? second dance because it's a last minute replacement and Tommy's stuff he's been working on it Jim's not for this kid it's True. for the other kid isn't it so True. it's a risky fight isn't it? it they're all risky fights but it's uh, an you, you, fight you, 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 you've hit out on, on something there which is but which is which is relevant, but uh, Tommy being such a professional inside and outside the ring, he'll uh, I don't think he'll get phased, and that's why we're still very confident. Um, me and Steve obviously talk on a regular basis how things are developing. Sometimes I don't let him know some of the tedious stuff that we, we, we we're going through because obviously I put different hats on because I've still got a, a business to run and other things. But obviously this is a passion, and we I want us to get as high uh, in the game as what we can and I want Steve to, he's had a little taste of some bits of success what we've what we've done but obviously you, you know some of the big fights that I've been involved yeah. with and I want us to get back up there so with, with Steve on board now he adds another dimension to what I'm trying to do it, make, it takes a bit more pressure off me and like with pals anyway so uh, it's it, some woods and on woods and with people like Tom and it's one or two other good kids like such as Glenn's got uh, um, who, who is training who we're going to promote so we Going to be, uh, we're going to be a strong stable. In the next 12 months, you'll, you'll see our stable develop a lot more. Yeah, uh, and you've been obviously in touch with Kathy Dover this week. You found the house, Yeah, she? she's, a, she's a nice woman. I, did, I, I put the mouse, Carlos Mouse, yeah. hand fight so many yards away from where we are stood now yeah. uh, in the Sheffield Arena. And uh, uh, a nice woman to work with. And uh, obviously, she's had some big fighters. Uh, but same again, fighters. like I've just been talking to Keenan's dad, Leo. I've played football with and against for years it just left but um, you know we the good thing that we've got now as a promotional company when I was first starting out people didn't know who I were and I had to prove myself and I've you know what I've got if you like is a blueprint of getting kids up to the world title yeah. on the world scene I've still got good relationships with all sorts of different independent bodies televisions venues promoters so if the kids got the talent, we can get them there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you happy where it's going, Steve, at the moment? Very, very happy. It's, uh, it is work in progress, like Dennis has said. And from where we started to where we are now, I can see a stable growing. And the good thing is, you know, everything's open book with the, with the fighters. So there's no there's no small cameras. Everything's open book with them. So they know what they're getting. They know we're committed to them and we're going to look after them. And it's just it's just building relationships with fighters, building that stable. And yeah, I'm just can't. Wait. To me, I'd, l I'd love to see where we are in another 12 months because from where we've got to, to where we are now, you know, we've got a Commonwealth champion, Tommy, we've got some good fires coming through from Glynn's camp, and it is, it's exciting times. He's got a right little stable going up there, Glynn, and he's, Brilliant. he's gone back to the basics and said, I'm going to be out of picture for about five or six years. Gone back to, like, we had a chat about it when I first met you, didn't we, about this? And he, he's going to have a strong team in so yeah. England, another couple of years, yeah. that'll be a conveyor belt. Yeah, I think so. I think and then, and, and Glyn's yeah. old school, so he, you know, he's, he's, he's seen it all. Uh, knows how to cope with all sorts of different, don't get phased in in, in, uh, in situations. I've worked in the corner with him numerous times, he's great in the corner. Yeah. And uh, and he keeps the kids happy and you know, it's like any sport, if somebody's happy with what they're doing, you're going to get the best out of them. Yeah. And he knows how to keep kids happy. Yeah. I also think the more that people see us and, and experience what we're doing, we'll get fighters gravitate, yeah. you know, wanting to come to, mm. to our camp. Mm. Our, you know, we, Fighters talk, aren't they? And it words get around. And you know, if we're honest, and it's an open book, fighters will gravitate to us because we're going to look after them. Yeah. Tell me how uh, the free sports uh, deals working then, Dennis. How did you get in? How did you get to be in touch with free sports and what are the plans moving forward? Well, the free sports people that are the, are the, the Irish lads who, who, who own uh, Satanta. Yeah. Remember Satanta? I broke uh, boxing with Ricky Atten at Satanta. Yeah. Then Frank Warren. Yeah, 
Uh, and if they'd have stayed in, in just in boxing and not try to conquer the Premier League, football, football, uh, I think they'd have still been in boxing now. Um, but it's just another another subsidiary uh, channel that they've opened up in the UK. So we've offered to put them some boxing on. It gives us a platform um, and uh, gives kids a chance to build a brand. And and uh, we're putting some live boxing on, which which is free to air. So yeah. you know, it's hopefully we'll get a meeting with them in the next two or three weeks, see what their thoughts on what are on what we've delivered, and then. Uh, and hopefully it's progressing like they open it. It would go new, uh, the boxing as well as the channel, and then uh, see what their ambition is. Yeah. And like, if they're as ambitious as what me and Steve are, then we'll deliver some world titles for them. Yeah, yeah it sounds really exciting. Are you going to be with Free Sports moving forward? Then? I'd like to think so. You know, we, we, we're loyal people for yeah. us, and like, like when, when I've had conversations with you and you've seen what I've done in the past, yeah. if, we, if people are loyal to us, I've just been talking to somebody else, what me and Steve had just outside and uh, if people are loyal then it's endless what you can achieve you can go right at the top but if you're looking for a quick book then we're not the person to, yeah, to no, where we not people the five nights in box and a quick yeah, book yeah yeah quick book and then watch. like uh, you know let's let, if you're ambitious you're not looking for a quick book yeah. you're, you're looking to achieve and then the money's going to come the, the, what comes with, with with winning things and being yeah. being a you know being fed at the top table and that's what we're capable of doing get yeah. kid, getting kids fed at the top table yeah. i've just had a, a, a good chat with tyrone nurse dennis that's uh, and steve you've pulled a bit of a mass Still getting him on board, fighting the can, aren't you? He's, uh, very he's, he's, he's a talented kid, and, and like Steve just said, he's, he, our, our stable's growing. Mm. I've known Tyrone when he when he used to come to our gym when we were about 15, scrawny uh, little kid. Uh, but I always thought what a talent he's going to grow into. Yeah. His dad's got all the experience in the world, yeah. um, and I. Even though he's been a British champion, I still believe he's. he's well done, Ty, he? Yeah, I still think he's. There's still more achievement in him, and I think he underachieved still because mm. I think there were more in it. 44 fights and he's 29. I know. So I he think he does know his way down the ring, but I think I think if he's still ambitious and he's got that little bit glint in his eye, it looks to me. He, he's still fresh, yeah, and yeah. So I think we can. I think we can go and win something again with it. Well. Uh, what I'm going to say now, I won't shock you because you know you're boxing, but a lot of people in the industry are saying that Tyrone Nurse didn't finish the six losses he's got, uh, should really be two, and uh, the draws he's had, they should have been wins because he'd been a way fighter. His record doesn't, it isn't what it seems when you look at it and you think, oh, six losses, and a bit like Josh Wales. Mm -hmm. You know, Josh Wales. Uh, you could say half of them losses shouldn't be on his record on Josh's. You know, the, the what, you're not going to get the breaks when you're away fighter, are you? No, you're not. And like I say, I've known Chris a long time, so he gives me a bit of a buzz working back again with Chris because yeah. he's a character. Tyrone's a talent. He's still a talent. He's got all the experience. He, he can get anybody a nightmare. Oh. And wheels behind him. Uh, and I've just seen a bit of a glint in his arm when I've just spoke to him. You know, you get a sense that it, there's still plenty of mileage left in that kid. And, uh, and I... I, I know what we can achieve and I know how, how passionate he is uh, working with me so I'll get a buzz on watching him getting a buzz of when, 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 we, when, when we achieve and when we take kids as high as they can be. We'll get on the world scene with some of these kids I'm telling you. Well you've got Josh Wales there, he's been world ranked and he will be again, Tyrone, Tommy, three kids there at the top yeah, of the game aren't they? This, this, this kids in, this kids inquiring about working with us all the time. You mm -hmm. think, oh, it's going to be quiet, and then all of a sudden we get a phone call. Yeah, it might yeah, be somewhere else in the world, and, 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 it, and, it, and it does. And, yeah. and Steve's just had a bit of a taste, but he can see what what strings we can pull in in all sorts of different uh, parts of the world. And it's uh, as long as I'm passionate about it, and he has, and he is, and we've got one or two good kids to where we like we are. We'll just go from strength to strength. As long as we're still passionate, uh, you watch us achieve. And what about Steve? The uh, the two kids, you know, they've had the two and and one and Kane and Keenan. Yeah, they're both. Uh, Kane's got skills to burn. The other kid punches like a milk. Yeah. Yeah. Keenan. Yeah. 
there's massive, massive potential in these oh, two. Well, and we know that, don't we? They'll fight. You know? They're already being tipped to fight for the world title in yeah. five years. they already. Yeah. So. Yeah, we we were excited about these two fighters, and we've just got to manage them right and make sure that you yeah, know we, they're not pushed too soon, and and they develop into proper fighters like they, they will do. Glen Rhodes said something a few years ago uh, about fighters. The, the your babies when you train and manage them, especially when you train and manage, not just manage, when you train them as well, because you see more of that person than you probably would your missus. Yeah. So they're like your, you're like your baby, aren't they, as well? And yeah. You've got to be protected, aren't they? Not You'll see more of this camera than your missus, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> do you sleep with this camera? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> I like, to know every I like to know how every button works. You know how to push the buttons on that camera. <laughs> and she knows how to push your buttons, yeah. your missus. <laughs> Go on in, boss. But, uh, but yeah, so other than that, everybody's happy. I spoke to Mick Whale. He says it's first camp he's ever had. Yeah, yeah. That he's had no problems. He's been left to do, go about the job. He's in great shape, Josh. You no know, she was outside her box. You know, uh, I've, there's been times where I've worked with Josh. But we've never done a, like a multi-fight deal, or we've talked about it. I've been disappointed a couple of times. I've told him this throughout his career. But if he'd have stayed with me, he could have been where we got Stuart Hall to. Happy campers are, aren't they? So, but what I'm getting at is that I've always had respect for him because they're proper boxing people. Yeah. And. I've always respected Josh, but and his dad because he's a straight talker. He's, he's, we, we get we're very similar in a lot of ways because we're straight talkers, and if something's not right, we, we discuss and, and sort it's it out. This, this, this is <laughs> yeah, but it, but, but, but it, like like he says, this has been an easy camp, but he's easy to deal with. They are easy. It, because they, they, they get it, and they know if there's a problem, like how can we work this out, which is helping you yeah. and helping us, but no. come to some compromise. It's done like that. I yeah. think me and Mick could sort Brexit out. What? Me and Mick could sort this Brexit out. Oh, yeah. yeah we Easy. Could, yeah. Why do people complicate things? You just get rid of all MPs, wouldn't you? Dave? Yeah, oh, they'd, they'd have to go. Oh, <laughs> the old pretenders, all on the gravy You're not train. Over of MPs, are you, no, because they don't do what he says on the tin, and they and the, the, uh, they take in public money. But you know that's another thing. There'd be no good in our game yeah. Yeah. working with me or Steve. Yeah. They, they'd, they'd probably end up selling big issue. Yeah. Know how to get a, get, a, get a living. They, they've, they've got it all out in a book, but they don't live in a real world, do they? But no. Not like us, lot. Moving on, Dennis, have you thought. No, let's talk about politics. Really? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Starting off. Go on. Like right. Moving on, Dennis, we spoke a few years ago about you having your own colours. So now, gloves. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I know, but I want blue and white stripes, but he wants red and white stripes. We well, can't you know, agree. Like the cronk, they yeah. have their own colours, don't they? Cronk, it's yeah, yellow yeah, and red, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Manny Stewart made them all wear them colours. Yeah. They were a sign of togetherness. Now, we've spoken about this a long time ago, didn't we? You were like, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it's happened, Dennis, has it? Can we just have one well, set of colours? I right? think it was Steve who said, no, we're not. I don't like that idea, of Russell's. <laughs> <laughs> I when it, when it right used to was said to me like that, I just realised that's blue and white that, isn't it? I'm oh, just, ah. it's, it's pulled me, hasn't it? It's Steve, do you me. prefer green and, green and black or blue, me, and blue and black? To be fair, I do, I, even though I'm a, a United fan and uh, yeah. I'm it's passionate a good logo, about my team, I, I do like his logo, to You're be United fair. And Dennis it is a good logo, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, that one there's yeah. a neon colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you have a look on some of the big fights we've been involved with, with Hay and Thompson, yeah. Hatton for four world title fights, Clinton, all got that logo. Yeah. David Hay got lost his, his first defeat with you against didn't he? Yeah, with a fighter who I was promoting at the time as well, yeah, Carl Thompson. Yeah, I know, but is that why you fell out, do you think? Um, I, I advised him not to take that fight. Right, so Carl, let's Carl, start again on that way. Right? Carl Thompson won world champion, won he? Yeah, he won the world title when Clinton lost to Glenn Johnson here at the Ponds Forge where we boxing tomorrow. <laughs> right? So yeah. he was getting beat. Yeah. I'm thinking, well, I've got Carl a world title opportunity for the IBO Cruiserweight title. And then uh, I guess a phone call when I'd flown back to Jersey from Adam and David and they wanted to fight Carl for the world title. And in my eyes, David wasn't the finished article. Big puncher, great to look at, great TV, uh, very articulate. Anyway, but it wasn't the finished article as a, as a boxer. And uh, Carl punched like a mule, an old warrior. And he was coming, he was having a, a swan song. 
but he wasn't ready to t be taken no. and they thought he were and I think they were a little bit naive at that time but I've got to give credit to what Adam's gone on and achieved is, is phenomenal mm. Adam's a top top trainer Adam but uh, yeah but Adam and David I think they jumped the gun they wanted to take that fight uh, and I didn't think David were, were ready and, I, and, I, and that's what I advised them not to do but they wanted it we put it well, on did it. you tell Adam both not to take yeah but him and, him and David wanted it and then uh, you were young weren't they then? yeah but look I, I ain't got everything right but like uh, it was great to watch and it looked like it was just going to blast Carl in his out. book he said that he, they had an after party planned after the fight and the only people who went he were in hospital and the only people who went to hospital to see him were Anthony Small and his missus really and yeah. after, but he had an after party booked as if he were going to be a winner yeah. do you think he might have just jumped the gun and thought he was going to blow him away I, I, I know he did um, I think he's uh, a very hard man by the, Carl Thomas yeah right. tough and, and so like unassuming I, and, and, and by the way I didn't get invited to that party did you no <laughs> um, but you were jumping up and down at ring with Carl Thompson I wouldn't do anything like that um, <laughs> no but Carl were a great kid to work with uh, David I must say was not the easiest person in the world to work with um, but you know it were a privilege to be David A's promoter because I admired him as a fighter yeah. but as, as, as a outside the ring not the easiest people to work with so I've got respect for him inside but I liked a little bit of respect for him uh, outside because they, they made things like we were just on about yeah. all right different level but with Mick and Josh Whale you sit down and work things out where it's a compromise but they, they were no compromising in him at that time. Do you think you that uh, David A at the time was getting too big for his boots? He was, he was I think so, at yeah. Time, he? But he, look, you can't know what he's done and he's oh. achieved. He's fantastic. He's, he's a fantastic career. Great career, I mean. I mean, he's had 11 years. I'd have liked to have had the same since career. He's come back five years ago. Yeah, so. He had a five year break, come back, and he's had what? One, two, three, four fights he's had. Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. fights mm -hmm. and pinched 11 million. So, how can you knock that? It's been title since he come back. Yeah, it's been good TV, but you know, I mean, they were on borrowed time for the he last four fights. He gets his promotion thing, doesn't he? He does, but like, it's a bit cringy some of the stuff well, he's done in the past. I'm going to have a bet with you now, Dennis. 50 quid yeah. says that David A fights again at some stage in his career. Do you think he will? In a boxing ring? Yeah. Or oh, in a, some some sort of combat. No, no, no. In Fifty quid in a boxing ring, yeah, right, professionally. David A comes back. All right. And try and he says the narrative is I want to beat George Foreman's record because that's the only thing you can come out with. George now, Foreman or George Foreman? George Foreman. Yeah. No, he's a ukulele <laughs> man. Here. When I'm cleaning windows. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the narrative. I'm going to say that he comes back because I just can't leave it alone. Some people. No, no, he can't. Look at Roy Jones. Look at he should have He's always talking. Talking about comebacks. I know. Do you know what I mean? It's Glenn McCord you were talking about him last night. Last time I'd have loved to have met the uh, Cal and Cal Zaggy or Cal versus Clinton. Clinton yeah. Oh, could you imagine that at 170, 170 Brilliant. Pounds, yeah. Brilliant. It would have been a right fight, wouldn't it? Mm, been great. Well, I've got you on air here. I've had a lot of questions. I'm just going to set to the order, Chris. Oh, well, then. <laughs> Chris, great to see you. Top man. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Upwards and onwards. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. See you tomorrow. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you, pal. Alright, okay. Thanks, Chris. See you, love, Tarot. What's that about there, like? Wayne. No, no the, the kid uh, who turned up, he wasn't his opponent. He were, um, he were uh, Irving, Irving Magno's uh, opponent. Yeah. And he didn't translate it properly. At first, we thought it were his mm. opponent. Oh, right, but so. the, through the translator, he, he's got mixed up. He, he thought it was our own. But they're winning tomorrow on the day because it's no title fight. Well, getting back to what we were talking about, I had a lot of emails regarding one of our last, the second to last video where I said something about Clinton Woods and you on an ITV show, and uh, is it Jim Rose and Tyler? One of them were asking about Joe Calzaghe were next and all that for Clinton. And how did that fight not come about it? Because I've, I've seen extracts from Frank um, Lyons, but he was on about the fight. Being close and then uh, I, I shook hand. I'd, I'd, I'd agreed that fight three times for Clinton. Were you Frank Warren? Uh, Dean Powell, bless him, uh, sent us a, a message just before Clinton won the world title. 
does, does he want to fight Calzaghe? We said, yeah. If he wins the fight, you mean? No, no, oh. no. No, this would this would be before the title fight. This were a couple of years before. Mm. Clinton had lost to Glenn Johnson, I think, and he offered us sixty grand. I said, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, what for fight Calzaghe? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Clinton beat Glenn Johnson a couple of years later. Uh, after he'd won the world title from Julio Gonzalez, and then and, um, I'd, I'd signed Hatton. So there were a bit of needle between me and Frank at the time, even though I didn't nick, I didn't poach Ricky off Frank. From, uh, Ricky Is left. Is this when you flipped that coin on about that time? That's, that's the time I flipped Frank. that coin, yeah. And we'd done the deal, and, uh, and then uh, Frank said he was sending me the contract, the fight's on, and then. Um, Calzaghe tell me it was Calzaghe who didn't want the fight. Then they went and fought Bernard Hopkins, which he almost got beat in that fight. Yeah. And then I managed to get Clinton, Antonio Tarver. And then Cloud Redonkin. No, but I went and got Tarver in, in America. Um, and I got de a decent decent payday for, for Clinton, but that was the biggest fight I could get for him outside Calzaghe. I'd have loved that Calzaghe fight. I'd, I'd, I'd done the deal, everything by the contracts were signed. Yeah. Uh, and it were Frank's side. He tells me it was Calzaghe. But uh, I'd done the deal, drove down to London, had a solicitor with us, shook hands on the deal, so, so, yeah, sorted, the, sorted the purses out, and then uh, the fight were on, as far as I'm concerned. And then the, the contract didn't come through the post. And I was chasing him for any, then he avoided many. Eventually, I found out that they'd done another deal for Calzaghe to fight Bernard Hopkins. So I had to go and try and find a decent fight for Clinton. I flew over to New York when I see Showtime and I managed to pull off the Antonio Tarver. Now, I said in recent interviews, if Clinton fights Tarver here at the same stage of his career, Clinton beats him. For whatever reason, and Clinton can make all the excuses he wants, he never fought well abroad. When he went to America, he fought three world titles and he lost three times. His two fights, what he'd have won if, I, if he'd have fight, fought in England or in Sheffield or anywhere in England. Tavares Cloud he could have been and Tarver he could have been, especially at them stages of their career. Yeah. Uh, Roy Jones, you were never going to beat Roy Jones. Yeah, yeah. But those two, he fights them here, he beats them too. Calzaghe can say he beat Roy Jones though, can't he? Yeah, but people can say he beat Larry Holmes. But our, you know, our, our over at Larry Holmes when he got beat by uh, Tyson. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if Tyson fights Larry Holmes at his best, what's the result? I don't know. It's a flip of the coin for me, that. What, Larry uh, Holmes and Tyson Fury? No, Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike Tyson. Yeah, but Mike Tyson did beat him, didn't he, down the line? Yeah, our, our, our old... Um, he came, yeah, we're coming back after a long layoff. Yeah, so, you know, so it's, it's different here. It's timing and stuff like that. Look at look what Trevor Burbick did to... Did to uh, Ali. Yeah, I was about to look what Tyson, that, yeah. look, what, look what Larry Holmes did to Ali. Yeah. And then Kevin McBride what, did Mike Tyson, didn't he? Then look what look what Mike Tyson did to Trevor Burbick and Larry Holmes. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, you've only got yeah. so so much mileage, haven't you? Yeah. What do you think, Steve, about Carl Zaggy Clinton if they'd have fought? I think it'd have been a crash. See you later, Baz. I yeah, uh, I really don't. Don't make sure know. We would have make, make sure it's on time oh, tomorrow, Barry. Not the best timekeeper. Poor timekeeper. I I being really sacked from a few jobs for being a poor timekeeper. I think. And honestly, that's uh, Clinton's saying. got a massive art, but so has Carl Zaghi. So mm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, my argument, we all like Carl Zaghi thing is everybody he fought. They, they were always. He would have a mega a mega fight, you know, like the Kessler fights. Yeah. Or it was somebody who were past the best, you know, like yeah. Jones and Hopkins. Yeah. Them at end, didn't they? Yeah. Clinton were a bit fresher than Jones and Hopkins, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And people say, yeah, but Clinton lost against Jones and Calzaghe beat Jones. Well, Calzaghe were dropped by Roy Jones, weren't he, in round one? And also, we were talking about Roy Jones, 40 year old, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't Different. talking the one that Clinton fought, were we? That's right, yeah. But Glenn Johnson beat Jones, didn't he? Knocked him out. Clinton beat Glenn Johnson. Yeah. And to, throw, to make matters even worse, uh, Styles make fights, don't we, but I can explain it. Clinton fought him three times, Glenn Johnson, and Joe Calzaghe pulled out three times against Johnson. The third time, he had an $100,000 fine, didn't he, wow. for pulling out of the fight. That's yeah. why the Americans called him No Show Joe. Right. Right. Yeah, but yeah. I am a Carl Zaggy fan, but I'm a Frotch fan and I'm a Clinton Woods fan, aren't I? Yeah. And I think in that round about that time, 2008, 2009, 
I think Clinton and Carl Froch beat Calvary because he were at the end, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Whether he was there did when they were at the peak, they were at their peak. I don't know. It probably yeah. been a point left to him. It's things we'll never know, really, we'll isn't it? Never know, are we? Never gonna but know. At that time, I think he were there to be beat, like Roy yeah. Jones. He were there to be beat when Calvary fought him. Yeah. I mean, Roy Jones, he must have thought he won lottery when he got the Calvary fight, coming oh, off them losses. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Massive payday for him and mm. everything, isn't it? But so, how do you see the show going tomorrow? If you're I think a betting it, man. I, Josh, Tommy and Tyrone all to win? Definitely. We are we are a doubt, hundred percent. I think in winning style? Yeah, I think you know, I think jo uh, Go on. Uh, Tommy. Tommy. I think Tommy Super Tommy. So definitely super you're Tommy. Super he won his last fight. He, he proved a point on his last fight how he dropped that kid. Yeah. You know, nobody were expecting him to do that. Everybody's saying he couldn't punch. Yeah. And he proved a point, he made a massive statement. We need him to do that again, really. Yeah. And I think he will, he's a proper professional as we both know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also think Josh Josh has got a bit between his teeth because he's he's you know, it's a fresh start for him and a new beginning and he wants he wants to put a good show on. So I'll, yeah, Josh, Josh is going to do it, and it's the same with Tyrone. Mm. Tyrone's got a new, a new lease of life, so I think them three are definitely going to come home with it. Other lads, it's Keenan and uh, and Kane. I think they both, they both will make a statement again tomorrow because they're both keen to move on with and progress with their career, even though they are kind of early. We're having to kind of rein them back a little bit because they're wanting to, you know, they run before they can walk in a, in a not in a dis disrespectful way, but they're yeah. getting a little bit excited. So we've just got to just got to keep them. What Keenan and yeah, just got to keep yeah, just got to keep them on the on the. Them two, the the, the babies aren't they? They are babies, yeah. 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 You know, the yeah. babbies aren't there. Yeah. They, they're five years away from yeah, doing any, to, from they anything. Are. They're probably four years from a British title. Who knows? Who knows? Who I'd knows? like to think that in two years they could be looking to get a, go, go for an eliminate for a British yeah. or something. Yeah. They've got a long way to Their journey's just started. It has. Isn't it? it has, but it's you know, an exciting journey for them. three into... fights between them, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's potential there for them to win British titles and go further. Yeah. Isn't there? Definitely. Um, Definitely. It's, it is actually an exciting time for all of us at the moment because. I've been hitting my head against the big wall with Dennis, and I really for the last couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't. So you haven't had a bit no, between no, your teeth, though, then, have you? The last Thank couple you. of years, but you now you seem to have, don't you, mate? Yeah. We uh, we're making some moves, aren't we? we Definitely. Uh, we 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 are on the right track, and uh, like I say, I'm not blowing, you know, blowing his own trumpet, but there's not many who can like create something from nothing like we can. Yeah. Whether that's right terminology, I don't know, but like, who can grow things and get, I know, I've got a blueprint, and like, you know, like with Steve on board now, uh, it gives me a little bit more impetus, and uh, and um, we have being passionate about it, it's, uh, it helps me, because like, sometimes I've done so much on my own, where I've been carrying a lot of people, and then obviously when, when things don't go right, then, uh, you know, they, they jump ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a lot of disloyalty in this game, but look what we've achieved. Yeah. Plus, you know, yeah. you can't, his track record speaks for It'd itself. It'd be nice to get a couple of GB kids, wouldn't it? From turning well, over. Well, it would, but I, I, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Mm. I, th I think uh, there's enough talent coming amongst the gyms. We've got few here at our gym. Uh, Richard Towers is starting to uh, get moving matches. with and, and, and train kids, and obviously, we've got Glenn, so we've got some premier trainers there and some premier talent who are bringing kids through and you've only got to go and have a look in there Jimmy you see what's going to come through so you know it's like uh, Busby, Sir Matt Busby, he was calling mm. Busby's babes but we've got yeah. maybe Fire Academy's babes coming through yeah. and that's what I think is the future for us we've got one or two flagships on this show tomorrow night we've got Tommy Franks, you've got Josh Whale, we've got Tyrone Nurse but we've got kids coming through getting the experience yeah. Yeah. on the back of their kids others, won't they? Yeah, and they'll, they'll, they'll benefit from that yeah. they'll benefit it's, uh, it's quite a uh, decently stable that you're building up now, Dennis, isn't it, to what it was a year ago? Yeah. It's uh, all going in the right direction and let's hope it's all a good show tomorrow. You'll keep supporting us, Russ. I'll try my best. And uh, we appreciate everything you try and do for us. Well, you know. I don't, I don't never want to upset you, but it's like, because it's like, there's a tsunami coming after you when, if you, when you fall out with somebody. <laughs> You get down, down and dirty, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>
it's all right. We, 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 yeah, we, we try and keep on your own eyesight. Uh, you like Norman Bates? He wouldn't even on the fly. But when they put that wig on, a dagger comes out for you. <laughs> Other than that, we've got happy campers then at the moment. Happy camp. Great, haven't we? Cracking. Everything seems to be running a bit easier than what it used to do, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah Maybe so this is how it's No, I think, I think it, the game's harder, but it's but you know, you've got genuine people, we've got more genuine people around mm, us. Yeah. So that, that helps, obviously. So at least that knows what that's going to do. Yeah. So, right so we can. Right then, it's been a longevity. Okay. Thanks very much then. No worries. Well, so, thank you very well. much. Thank you very much. Give our love to Nicola. You are well. Yep. Alright. Cheers. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. <laughs> Shout out to Rami then. Rami. Be seeing you Rami. See you Rami. <laughs>